Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Chernobyl light. In the previous episode, we discovered our base kind of thing. So, let's hop into the game and see where we continue with. And I think it's the mission that we selected. So. And here we are. And indeed, we are busy with the mission where we left off. Open the door. We had a gun. We had a gun. There we go. So now... Um, we need to go to the mark. I suppose we need to see where we need to go. From that way. Can we maybe s collect something here? I'm keeping up the gun. Oh. This highly radiation. I already radioactive material. After explosion uh, happened, there are uh, some items that still are indeed so incredible radioactive that's deadly to touch. So, if you touch it, you will eventually die of it. And literally, that's no joke. No jog at all. And if you're still uh, wondering what, uh, uh, why I sound maybe a little bit different, because I still am sick. So, uh, my apologies for that. And I want to give you uh, at least something to watch in the meanwhile. So, uh, let's see where we need to go. This way. There's nothing much here to discover. There's a house here and I suppose we need to go to the house. There's some stuff here. Okay, we got some herbs here we can take. Oh, that, that, okay, that, that was East West. Okay, the med medicine drop. You have finished the first quest. When you're ready, use the portal generator in your inventory to go back. Ooh, you got a portal? Oh, okay, that's a portal generator. Wow. Okay. I think this approach is working, Igor. Looks like we can sneak in and out of the zone without attracting attention. So, how did it go? Are you any closer to finding your old lady? You still want to go back to the power plant? I have to go back. I have the strongest feeling she's there. Feelings? You surprise me, Professor Kimenyuk. Trusting your instincts is important. The last time we tried that, we lost Anton. We need some hard evidence before we go down that road again. <laughs> Don't worry, Olivier. I'm not crazy. I'll keep gathering evidence, and when I've got enough, we can formulate a new plan. Good. Evidence, plans, information, resources. It will all get us closer to your goal, Igor. How did you do today? I'll brief you in a minute. First, let me point out a couple of things to you. Go on. You need to understand the role you're in. You hired me and rented this warehouse. That makes you the commander of this base. Oh. It means you will be in charge of all our equipment and, most importantly, our food rations. You have to start thinking like a strategist, like this is a military operation. Organize the base and take care of your troops. That's number one. Starving is no fun, I know from experience. Forget to feed your troops and their morale will drop. They might even desert you. Also, in situations where resources are scarce, there's a group psychology to consider. Playing favorites, rewarding those who slack off, and not appreciating the men who pull their weight are surefire ways of creating discord amongst the men. What men? 
There are only two of us. For now, but that has to change if you want your power plant operation to succeed. We need more power, more intel, more skill, and more bodies. And each of those bodies will need space, food, and resources in this base. I know you're eager to bolt out there and continue your search, but you need to be patient, plan, strategize, take it slow. You have to find time to cater to the needs of your companions and manage this warehouse. If you don't, all your plans will be for nothing. You're right. I need to be smart about all of this. Absolutely. And remember, I'm here for you. I will advise and support you every step of the way. That's what you're paying me for. Hmm. Okay. We're just gonna have normal food. We need to maybe do something about that then. What was it? Uh, what was the button? was a but or creation of something oh there we go um, I want to build a garden that's important now. Did it work again? Or do I need to talk to this guy? As a military man, I'm used to sleeping rough. Yep. But is it really necessary? Think you could get us some more beds? More beds. I'm on it. Yes, restful sleep is critical to our effectiveness. Upgrades. Sleeping place. Well done. Now everyone will wake up well rested and ready to take on the zone. I cannot use the binoculars. Well done. Now everyone will wake up well rested and ready to take on the zone. 
Do you think you could find some time to teach me some of your military tricks? <laughs> no. Okay. There are no tricks or shortcuts when it comes to improving your survival skills or shooting. But I'll be happy to teach you some basics. It'll make my job easier too if you know how to handle yourself out there. Of course. Maybe some other time. You're the boss, Igor. Can we swap some stuff, Olivier? Sure, whatever you need. Oh. That's the thing. something. Glad you like the place. I hope you leave it in the same pristine condition you found it. You got a real bargain, you know. But now we need to talk business. Anton and Olivier around? Anton is... he was killed. Oh my, uh, what a pity. Yeah, he was such a nice guy. Yeah, perhaps too fucking nice. Yep, I'd bet my last cigarette that's what got him killed. I don't think so. What do you want, Mikhail? I need you to return the favor and help me wipe the NAR database. And before you start bitching about it, I know you're not that kind of scientist. I'll walk you through the whole thing. So... I should use any opportunity I get to hurt NAR. Okay, I'll do it. That's my brave lad. Head to the building in the Duca complex. I'll be in touch. Okay. I overheard your conversation with Mikhail. Don't tell me you're actually going. Mikhail is a bit off, but he's not wrong about crippling NAR. It could buy us some time. He sounds like a sociopath. Do you trust him? No, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to deal with him. We only need him because of this warehouse. Right now, he looks more like a liability than an asset. On the other hand, you might discover something important. I don't know. Nah, it's too risky. You should ignore him. I think I'm going to go along on this one thing, and see how it goes. I strongly advise against that. I know his type. He probably eats his Wheaties with cocaine in the morning. Thank you for those wise words of wisdom. Let's table this discussion for now. The water in Chernobyl changes every day. The rain can mute the noises you make. Ooh, okay. Two days left, one day left. Food, food drop in Pripyat. Hmm. Supply drop in Pripyat. Pripyat is still the, the, if you didn't know, the 
Pripyat is is the town of the workers of Chernobyl. So. successful I want to do this one and then I want to see if there's somewhere okay he has all, only that at, at change let him get some food then Let's do this. And here we are. Uh, cool. We can pick up stuff. Nice. Six away out of the gun. Now we need to find. Yeah, the supplies. There's something here. In the range. So I'm figuring out what the question marks are. Because I'm very curious what the question mark is then. Stay in the shadows. Oh. Become invisible. Okay. None of you are safe. <gasps> what the hell was with the doll? The doll is possessed. to be in here or something then I reckon oh there we go Tanya ah, remember when they used to call back. this place the dish we used to come here all the time and you'd tease me whenever you got the chance I love you Igor you know that but that doesn't mean you're off the hook I want you to see you challenge yourself for real this time no more books no more equations, no more quantum physics. After you finished your tea, I want you to take my hand and come speed skating with me. You're not going to science your way out of this. <laughs> Don't worry, my love. Okay, Even though I, I was the ice skating for, uh, champion in Monomites, I'll take it easy on you. That's good. So that's how we can uh, get some skill points, I guess. So, let's see if we can get some more of them. Hey, there's something more here. But we need, still need to see if there's one or another thing here. There's a guy there. Do we I don't know if we need to shoot him, yes or no. That's the big question right now. Oh, this is a character that will this ah, okay. Do 
these creepy dolls. Really? See, there we go. We got another creepy doll. What is the matter with those dolls, though? Oh, they keep looking at the... Uh What the f How many dolls they can have? Literally. What the fuck? Look at them. They're ugly. They're ugly. Hmm. This is very strange. Thirty one meters thirty meters. There is something here. Just a matter what those dolls though. Okay. There's a doll here. There's literally everywhere a doll. See? They will move their heads. What the fuck? Okay, that's creepy. That's really creepy. Let's just continue uh, to the mission port. Ah. guy over there. One last sweep and I'm done. Great. go okay nice only have uh, not enough ammo anymore oh there's a gun now what sucks because now I cannot fight anybody anymore. Or I need to knock them out in one bullet. But you know guys how that is with me and, and gun games. That's not gonna happen.
That's done. I literally hope he is alone. Okay, he was not alone. That was one bullet. Lucky for me. Sometimes I can shoot. So. I'll fill up the gun. Let's see what we have in here. For a change. Oh, now we're going to have fun. Okay, now we're gonna have fun. Um. Oh yeah, now we're gonna have fun. Now we have a good gun, or at least, I hope so, that's a good gun, you never know though. At least now I can shoot somebody on, di on a distance if I need to. Like a scavenger hunt without a lot of enemies. Hmm. There we go. Look, that's a lot of items. That's perfect. Another one. That's cool. At least another gun, so that's perfect for us. Let's have a hangout back to the uh little later I think. I find a lot of stuff here. That's good. That's perfect. On my way back. This location.
still some question marks. And one of them is the dolls. I literally don't know what to do with those. Those dolls are just creepy as fuck. Oh, I can go in here. Ooh. Okay. That's fine. Oh, yeah. There's something that I can take. Food. That's also good. Long hallway. What the fuck is this guy? Stop right there! You're on Prippy and Bradford turf now! I'm... what? Where? Bradford! Prippy and Bradford! You must be new here, huh? A tourist? What's your name? Yeah, I'm a tourist. My name is Igor. What's going on? Bradford runs this place. That's what's going on. Prippy and Bradford. And you will obey the rules, Igor the tourist. Uh, what is this? Bradford? Bradford is Sasha, Grisha, Oleg, Vova, and Aloysia. And Evgeny. Interesting. And where are all these guys? Let me think. Uh, Sasha got arrested. Grisha was shot. Uh, Oleg fell to his death. Vova drowned, Aloysia overdosed, only Evgeny is left. And I take it that Evgeny is you? Evgeny is me. I'm the last man standing. I'm the Pripyat Bratva now. I made the rules, you got it, tourist? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. You make the rules. Good. I like uh, you already. Just remember the number one rule. Don't fuck with us. Nobody fucks with Bratva, tourist or no. You know, you listen pretty well. I've decided to let you join our gang. You can be my second in command. Oh, it's an honor. Thank you. Uh, you mentioned something about trade. What kind of things do you have? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean, you don't know? Duh, I sell boxes of loot. I never open them, so I don't know what's in them. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Mm, that makes Each box is totally random? Duh. My loot boxes are like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> deep. I know. Ksenia told me I was the biggest Fasali Gier in our neighborhood. It's very simple. One food ration for one box of loot. One box a day. Igor, we just met, but I feel like I've known you for years. You're like a brother to me now. Have a free box of loot on me. But don't tell anyone. It's a secret. A Bratva secret. Okay. I better That's be perfect. going now. Bratva forever, Igor. Yeah, random guy. Let's loot this really quickly then. Because I think there's nothing here. Yeah, there's nothing here. There's literally nothing here. Oop, there is something. But, let's uh... Let's head back.
And with that, guys, this is the end of the video. I want to thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing if you enjoyed the episode. Because there will be a lot more of these coming your way. And uh, I decided to uh, try to complete a full month of everyday upload. So if you want to see something about that, then please, please subscribe. That will mean uh, the world to me. Also, leave a like if you enjoyed. And comment down below if I yeah, maybe missed something. And uh, as always, I will catch you in the next one.